to Tanya Caudry, Digital Development Director of Guardian News Media. Welcome, Tanya. Thank you. Um, you have been talking today on the Digital Innovator Summit on how you integrate Facebook into the, the Guardian platform, let's say. Um, can you uh, make a resume for us here uh, of the main points of how you're doing that? I'm very happy to do so. Uh, so the Guardian, we have built an, an embedded Facebook app within Facebook for social sharing of news. So we launched it in September 2011 and it was launched at the F8 conference which is Facebook's flagship uh, global conference every year. So we're very pleased to be part of that. Um, so we did it as an experiment and we've been really uh, pleased and excited by its success. Yeah, and can you tell about the success? Certainly. So the app basically allows people to see what other what their friends are sharing and reading on Facebook. Uh, and we have got uh, seven and a half million people now using, have now downloaded our app. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that is, and it's growing tremendously quickly. So there's probably around 35,000 people a day still downloading our app. So the growth is still growing, which is and very exciting. Yeah, and is it in England or is it uh, more overseas even than in England? Uh, so when we first launched, the audience was very UK-centric. That has completely changed. We only launched it five months ago. So now most of the audience is from around the world. So probably there are people reading our content on Facebook in almost every country in the world. And is it for free, the content or the app, or is it a paid app? Uh, no, it's for free. So yeah. anybody in Facebook can download okay, it yeah. and uh, read our content, which is very exciting. So we have uh, around about 4 million people uh, every month now actively reading our content and sharing it, uh, both on Facebook. And then they're also coming to The Guardian to read our content there as well. So yeah. we're very excited about that. Yeah, so that content in is it is it different from the content you produce for newspaper for your your printed newspaper or your website are there specific features in the content for the facebook app uh, there's no specific content generated for the facebook app no. so what will happen though is that different content will bubble up there's no editorial curation ah, okay so our audience is predominantly uh, 18 to 24 year olds which is a notoriously hard audience to reach and we're finding that they probably are interested in a different blend of content mm -hmm. so today for example you will still find that some of the most popular content on facebook is around afghanistan is around the news in syria but it will also include a comment piece on our young girls being sexualized too much or uh, it might include some football results or recipes. So it's a very broad mix of context. Yeah. Content. And, and is that there is a lot of communication around that content? Uh, we're still learning about how people engage with that content. But again, what we're finding is that when people are reading their friends' content, yeah. often they're liking it, often yeah. they're commenting it, and it really helps the Facebook network, event, uh, network effect kick in yeah. so we're finding that more and more people are sharing that content in either one form or another yeah and you ta you told that it also leads to more traffic to the other the, the guardian the website or maybe also even the printed uh, newspapers have you figures about how it yeah, how that has, what, what the results of that have been already? Uh, not yet. We only launched uh, the back end of last year, so it's yeah. still early days. I suspect it's not really having any impact on print sales, no. but uh, our fears around would it cannibalize our own offerings mm -hmm. have uh, not come to fruition. So we're finding actually that we're attracting a new audience, and that new audience yeah. is experiencing The Guardian not just on Facebook, but also yeah. on other platforms too. But, but the costs you make for that app, those you said, I, I remember, I think uh, those costs have already been covered. You are earning money on the Facebook app. Yes, we are. So we have a very good, robust API, which allowed us to build the app uh, quickly and cheaply. Yeah. So that's very exciting for us. Yeah, and it, it, it attracts advertisers. Uh, it does, it does. Advertisers are very keen to learn about Facebook too. So we're all in a mode of experimenting on Facebook. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you.